Hubble has been in space for over 34 years, and its mission has been an incredible success. Although it wasn't originally designed to observe objects within our solar system, it has managed to do so throughout its journey, capturing extraordinary moments that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Not every planet has a dedicated mission, and there's much more to see in our solar system beyond just the planets. Let's embark on a journey through our cosmic neighborhood, venturing from Earth to the farthest reaches of the solar system, exploring remarkable objects you might never have heard of, as revealed by Hubble's keen eye. We'll begin our grand tour close to home with our immediate neighbor, the Moon. Due to the Moon's large apparent size in our sky, Hubble cannot capture its entire surface in a single image. Moreover, other missions, such as NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, provide far better images of the Moon, thus Hubble's time is better utilized elsewhere. However, in 2012, Hubble captured an intriguing image during a special event. Venus passing in front of the Sun. Why observe the Moon during this event? Scientists used it as a massive mirror to detect subtle variations caused by sunlight scattering through Venus's atmosphere. These variations reveal details about the atmosphere's chemical composition. Although Venus's atmospheric composition is already well known, this experiment tested whether the light scattering method produces accurate results. Hubble frequently applies this technique to study exoplanet atmospheres by observing distant stars as planets transit in front of them. Since the Sun is too bright for Hubble to observe directly, using the Moon as a reflector enabled scientists to obtain the data they needed. While capturing the entirety of the Moon poses challenges for Hubble, the same is not true for Mars. Hubble often observes Mars, offering a full view of the planet's surface, something orbiting spacecraft can't always achieve. These images provide valuable insights into dust storms, seasonal changes, and other weather phenomena. Such information is crucial for planning rover operations and building a comprehensive understanding of Martian weather for future predictions. One time-lapse shows a global dust storm enveloping the planet, obscuring surface features, while Mars's two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, can be seen zipping around the planet in the background. Their rapid motion is especially noticeable in the 42-minute sequence. Another time-lapse focuses on Phobos, the larger and closer of Mars's moons, showing its movement over just 22 minutes. Phobos completes an orbit around Mars in only 7.5 hours, making it the only moon in the solar system to orbit faster than its planet's day. As we leave the inner planets behind and approach the first of the gas giants, we encounter the asteroid belt, a fascinating region filled with objects worth studying. Among them is the curious asteroid 6478 g, a misleadingly named celestial body that has captured Hubble's attention. You might be surprised to learn that this object, which clearly resembles a comet with its twin tails, is actually an asteroid known as 6478 g. This asteroid resides in the asteroid belt and was imaged in 2019. So why does it have a tail? Scientists believe the answer lies in a phenomenon called the Yarkovsky effect. Solar radiation exerts a small but steady force on irregularly shaped bodies, and under the right conditions, this can gradually increase their rotation speed. In G's case, its 3.5 km wide body has been spinning faster over time and now completes one rotation every two hours, the upper limit of what an asteroid can endure. This rapid rotation generates centrifugal forces that are stronger than the asteroid's gravity, causing loose material to be ejected into space. These ejections form the tails, and over time, 6478 g will likely disintegrate entirely. Like many other asteroids and comets, 6478 g isn't a solid rock but a fragile rubble pile held together by weak gravitational forces. The asteroid belt, with its chaotic population of 1 to 2 million asteroids larger than a kilometer and countless smaller ones, is a dynamic region. To illustrate this, let's examine P 2010A2. At first glance, it appears to be a typical comet, but a closer look at its nucleus reveals an unusual filamentary structure. Surprisingly, this is not the comet's nucleus, it isn't even a comet. What we're seeing is an extraordinarily rare event, a collision between two asteroids. The X-shaped structure near the nucleus consists of debris from the impact, with rubble being ejected in four directions. 
Some of this material is pulled back toward the center of mass by the faint gravitational pull, while particles in the tail have escaped entirely. Despite the occasional chaos, most asteroids in the belt follow relatively stable, circular orbits around the Sun. But if an asteroid strays too far from this path, as comets do, it risks encountering a far more powerful gravitational force. Jupiter, often called the solar system's vacuum cleaner, is a dominant force in this region. Its immense mass accounts for nearly 34% of all the matter in the solar system outside the Sun, giving it a gravitational influence that shapes the fate of nearby objects. A striking example of this occurred in 1994, when the 2KM-wide comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 ventured too close to Jupiter. The planet's gravity not only captured the comet but also tore it apart, breaking it into several fragments. By the time the fragments impacted Jupiter, they were already scattered, marking the first-ever direct observation of an extraterrestrial collision. Interestingly, Shoemaker-Levy 9 had been captured by Jupiter roughly two decades earlier and orbited as an active comet, a phenomenon also observed for the first time. However, its orbit eventually brought it perilously close to Jupiter's surface. The resulting tidal forces shredded the comet, and just a year later, its fragments collided with Jupiter at an astonishing speed of 60 kilometers per second, over 210,000 kilometers per hour. The impacts on Jupiter generated fireballs reaching temperatures of over 23,000 degrees Celsius, soaring an astonishing 3,000 kilometers above the planet's limb. The most significant impact left a dark spot spanning 12,000 kilometers, roughly the size of Earth, and unleashed energy equivalent to 6 million megatons of TNT, more than 600 times the power of the world's combined nuclear arsenal. Moving outward from Jupiter, we encounter Saturn, the crown jewel of the solar system, with its dazzling ring system. Saturn has captivated observers for centuries. The rings, primarily composed of ice particles ranging in size from micrometers to meters, are thought to be remnants of a shattered moon or comets that ventured too close and were torn apart by Saturn's immense gravity. Recent observations from the Cassini spacecraft have revealed that these rings are not as ancient as once believed. While Saturn itself formed about 4.5 billion years ago, the rings may be a mere 100 million years old, a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. This has sparked debates among scientists about whether the rings are a temporary feature in Saturn's long history. Cassini's daring final mission, known as the Grand Finale, brought us unprecedented insights into Saturn and its rings. During its last orbits, the spacecraft dived between Saturn and its innermost ring, providing detailed data about the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and gravity. It confirmed that the rings are gradually losing mass as ice particles spiral inward, creating what scientists call ring rain. If this process continues, Saturn's iconic rings may eventually disappear, leaving future observers with a very different view of the gas giant. Saturn's moons are equally fascinating. Among its 145 confirmed moons, Titan and Enceladus stand out as potential havens for extraterrestrial life. Titan, the largest moon boasts a thick atmosphere and surface lakes of liquid methane, and beneath this alien landscape lies a subsurface ocean of liquid water, a prime target for future exploration. Enceladus, with its icy surface and geysers spewing water vapor and organic molecules into space, offers even more compelling evidence of habitability. Cassini flybys revealed a global subsurface ocean beneath Enceladus's icy crust, heated by tidal forces from Saturn. This combination of water, heat, and organic compounds makes Enceladus one of the most promising places to search for life in our solar system. Beyond Saturn lies Uranus, a pale blue-green world often overshadowed by its more flamboyant siblings. But Uranus has its own unique charms. Its atmosphere is rich in hydrogen, helium, and methane, the latter responsible for its striking hue. Unlike other planets, Uranus rotates on its side with an axial tilt of 98 degrees. This unusual orientation likely resulted from a cataclysmic collision with an Earth-sized object during its formation. This extreme tilt gives Uranus the most extreme seasons in the solar system. Each pole experiences 42 years of continuous sunlight followed by 42 years of darkness. During the Voyager 2 flyby in 1986, Uranus appeared eerily featureless 
earning it a reputation as the boring planet. However, recent observations from ground-based telescopes and the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed dynamic weather patterns, including massive storms and faint auroras. Uranus is also home to 27 known moons, many named after characters from Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Its largest moons, such as Titania, Oberon, and Miranda, are icy worlds with varied terrains, including massive cliffs, ridges, and valleys. Miranda, in particular, stands out with its chaotic patchwork-like surface, hinting at a violent past. As we journey farther into the solar system, we arrive at Neptune, the outermost planet and a realm of extremes. Like Uranus, Neptune is classified as an ice giant, with an atmosphere composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. However, its deep blue hue is more vibrant than Uranus's, possibly due to unknown atmospheric components. Neptune is a planet of dynamic weather, with the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour. These powerful winds drive massive storms, including the famous Great Dark Spot observed by Voyager 2 in 1989. Although this storm has since dissipated, new dark spots have been detected by the Hubble Space Telescope, highlighting Neptune's ever-changing atmosphere. The planet's largest moon, Triton, is a world of particular interest. Triton orbits Neptune in a retrograde direction opposite the planet's rotation, a clue that it was likely a captured object from the Kuiper Belt. Triton's surface is covered in a layer of frozen nitrogen, with geysers that erupt plumes of nitrogen gas, powered by seasonal heating from the distant sun. Beneath its icy crust, scientists suspect a subsurface ocean, making Triton another tantalizing candidate for future exploration. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of icy bodies that includes dwarf planets like Pluto, Haumea, and Makemake. This distant frontier is a relic of the early solar system, containing primitive objects that offer clues about its formation. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, gained renewed attention with the New Horizons mission in 2015. The spacecraft revealed a world of surprising complexity, with towering mountains of water ice, smooth plains of frozen nitrogen, and an atmosphere that creates hazy twilight skies. Pluto's heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio has become an iconic symbol of this dwarf planet's unexpected charm. Other Kuiper Belt objects, like Haumea with its elongated shape and rapid rotation, and Makemake with its bright icy surface, showcase the diversity of this distant region. Farther still lies Eris, a dwarf planet whose discovery reignited the debate over Pluto's planetary status. Beyond the Kuiper Belt lies the hypothetical Oort Cloud, a spherical shell of icy bodies that marks the solar system's outer boundary. This distant region is thought to be the source of long-period comets, which occasionally journey into the inner solar system. The Oort Cloud remains unobserved, existing only as a theoretical construct, but it represents the final frontier of our solar neighborhood. The voyage continues. Our exploration of the solar system has revealed a cosmos of astonishing diversity. From the fiery inferno of Venus to the icy realms of the Kuiper Belt, each planet, moon, and object tells a story of cosmic evolution, offering insights into the forces that shaped our celestial home. As we gaze into the night sky, we are reminded that our solar system is but one small corner of the Milky Way galaxy. Beyond its boundaries lie billions of stars, each with its own planets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Humanity's journey of discovery is just beginning, and the wonders of the universe beckon us to continue the voyage. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel, Instigate Curiosity, give it a like, and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. See you soon in the next video.